guys, this is Julie from Crafty Beach on YouTube and I have a fun Dollar Tree resin DIY for you. So first I'm gonna put my little respirator on and my safety goggles. I also get the gloves from Dollar Tree and these acrylic boards from Dollar Tree that come in handy when you're working on a resin project. This is the mold I'm gonna use. It's a sea troll mold that I found on Timu. It was about $4, really inexpensive, and we're gonna be using Dollar Tree resin. Yes, resin is available at the Dollar Tree. I've been seeing it at my stores lately, and then I'm also gonna be using some of the crushed glass. Normally though, I try to stock up on the Dollar Tree resin by buying a case online, and it goes in and out of stock, so you just have to keep checking on the Dollar Tree website. But it's a one-to-one -one mixture. It's a part A, a part B. So you need both of them. And then you can mix them up. I like to use these little plastic disposable like bathroom cups from Target. And um, I'm just mixing it up with some silicone popsicle sticks that I actually got on Amazon. I really love those. It's really easy to reuse them. And then I'm going to be using the crushed glass from Dollar Tree. I want both the blue and the green. I thought that would look pretty. And so I just poured them into the resin that I mixed up. And then I can put the mixture inside the mold. Now I've done three resin videos on my channel, so I'm starting to learn what I'm doing with this. This was a little bit of a deeper pour, but it actually cured pretty quickly. I left it overnight and it looks so cool with that crushed glass from the Dollar Tree inside. I wanna make this into a cute little sea turtle light um, using items from the Dollar Tree. So we've got the resin. I'm going to use my heat gun to try to get rid of any bubbles. I have it on the acrylic board, so I set it aside overnight. And here's the fun part. It's time to take the mold off. And this is what we have, this beautiful sea glass sea turtle. It's really pretty when you shine it up to light. It's a little dark otherwise, so I want to make this into a light. I did notice I did do a need, need to do a little bit of trimming for some sharp edges. Um, along the bottom of the sea turtle, but now I want to kind of outline the shell. There's little indentations there for the shell. So I'm just using a Posca paint pen. It actually works really well on resin and just drawing that on there for contrast. For the light, I'm using one of the little LED push lights from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna try to make a little stand that we can use for the sea turtle. So I'm just using one of the square wood pieces from the Dollar Tree, along with, that's a Jenga block. I get those at Five Below every year. I love them for crafting, and I thought I could make a little custom stand. I kinda want it to look a little bit like driftwood, so I mixed a little bit of ivory and antique wax by Waverly together, so we can just get a very light wood um, stain on these, and we can kind of make both of the wood pieces match. I wanted to boost it up a little bit, that's why I'm using the Jenga block, um, to um, have the turtle be a little higher than the light, so the whole turtle will light up. I decided I wanted my base to be a little bit thicker, so I'm actually gonna use two of those Dollar Tree pieces together and just so I can have a little bit chunkier base and it won't be warped or anything like that. I just attach the two together with hot glue and then I'm gonna put the Jenga block right here towards the front. I have plenty of room for my little push light back there and it's a Dollar Tree hack to make your own LED light stand for resin. I use a little Gorilla Glue clear grip to glue my resin piece down to the wood and this looks so cool lit up. It was so much fun to make. And I really like the idea of making it into a light, like a functional piece that I can use in my coastal decor. If you'd like more Dollar Tree DIYs, be sure to check out my YouTube channel at Crafty Beach. And my website is craftybeach.net. Until next time, happy crafting.